What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a Marcus Rashford player review. As you can see, 90 pace, 79 dribbling, and 73 shooting. I got him for about 11k. He'll probably be cheaper when the game actually drops, because obviously he's 76 rated, a lot of people will pack him. 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, high low work rates, which is perfect for a striker, and 5 foot 11. So let's get into his in-game stats. Alright, so Rashford's in-game stats, 91 acceleration, 86 agility, and 90 sprint speed being his main uh, attributes for the mental and physical comparisons. Uh, then he's got a few green ones like 80 dribbling, 76 finishing, uh, but overall nothing too terrific on the skill attributes and obviously we've already been through everything else. He's got the speedster, speciality and the flair trait. So how does he perform in game? Well as you might have guessed, terrifically well. Honestly he was a fantastic striker. The best thing I like about him, but his pace and his acceleration and things like that, you know, obviously with the 90 pace and I think, what was it, 91 acceleration, he's going to feel rapid, but he always seemed to be on the last man, or if he wasn't, he'd drift, find some space, that was a weird finish for his first goal, but uh, it dummied the keeper, I, I don't know if that was an accident or whatever the hell it was, it worked. But um, yeah, he's always on the last man, he's always making runs, he's just available, his attacking positioning is probably as good, if not better, than his pace on this game, uh, in terms of like what his best attributes are. Um, he's, he's a finisher as well, he's very good at that. Um, I didn't really get too many chances to head the ball in, a uh, couple of crosses, you can see a scrappy goal from a corner there. He, he just always seems to be in the right position to put goals like that away. But uh, I'll, I'll go through pros and cons a bit later on after um, I show you what chemistry style I equipped because that's also important, I think, in this game, uh, given all the year I've said about chemistry. But overall, a very, very fun player to use. As it's the early access, I only played three games because we've only got 10 hours. And uh, I also equipped the Marksman chemistry style because it increases his shooting, his physicality and his dribbling. So uh, yeah, I thought that was the best one. He's already got enough pace. And uh, four goals, one assist in three games isn't bad. And he's got a lot of positives. As I say, pace, acceleration, as you would expect. His agility is very good, though. And uh, when you see one of the cons, it kind of counteracts it. Uh, sprint speed, again, terrific. The price, I think he is worth the money. And uh, I've put that as a positive. He'll only get cheaper as the game uh, progresses as well. Dribbling he seemed very good with, especially with the marksman chemistry style on there. Positioning, attacking positioning was his best thing for me. Uh, stamina as well, very important on this game and he, he doesn't seem to lose it so he's always able to get last minute goals if needs be and his finishing is on point. Cons however, three star weak foot, three star skills and uh, the strength which Again, is counteracted a little bit by having good agility, so it's not too much of an issue. And sometimes his passing is a little wayward, as you would expect, because on the card it's only got 66 anyway. Overall, however, though, I would give Rashford an overall rating of 8 out of 10, and value for money, 10 out of 10. I think for 10k, I th well, 11k I think I paid now, I think he's definitely worth it, and he's only going to get cheaper as well, so he's just going to be a cheap beast for FIFA, and uh, he'll be in a lot of OP squads. So let me know what you think, hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.